The world is full of magic, energies, and so many possibilities. What if I told you, you can have anything you want? Yes, anything. Because with the universe, anything is possible. You are magic. Your thoughts are powerful. Your words are powerful. And what you believe is what you attract into your world. With the power of manifestation, you can create anything you want. Yes, anything you want. My shop, Jalissa's Manifestations, provides the tools to help you attract your desires, your wishes, your dreams. My candles are infused with crystals which hold energies and specific herbs to attract your manifestations. All you need is a wish and to believe. Energies are real and control your moods and what you attract. Sometimes we can feel depleted or in need of a boost of energy and that's what my spiritual baths are for. Cleansing, protecting, attracting love, abundance, and opportunities. The possibilities are endless. All you need is to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Believe in the magic inside you. Just believe. Hello, my beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are blessed. It is your girl, Jalissa, and I am coming to you guys with a new pick a car reading. Okay, so today's pick a car reading was inspired by my pop up collective reading I did yesterday, which was a should you stay connection reading. Okay, so we discussed a different type of connection okay maybe you saw that one or maybe not all right but that is a collective reading therefore i wanted to give an option for those who had doubt and those who were concerned who watched the video um should you stay or should you go in this connection so i am doing a pick a card yes or no type of vibe you know so let's see what we get here all right so i did two piles today because yes and no would be kind of the way to go right i'm not saying that one is going to be yes and one's going to be no but that was basically what i was advised to do for this reading okay so we have two piles we have this yellow crystal here which is very beautiful so these are not um natural crystals all right it is a crystal but it is painted you see mm -hmm. but this is a yellow crystal okay pile one and then pal two, this is a red beautiful crystal. I love them regardless of the fact that they are artificial. They are beautiful. Okay. Um, but I had to let you know, you know, authenticity and all that good stuff. Bless, transparency. All right. So pal one and pal two, these are the crystals for you to choose from. I do want you to take your time your time and choose intuitively of course so there's no rush i'm not going anywhere if you need to pause this video i will be right here hello when you are ready to go ahead to your reading timestamps are available to you down below in the description okay bless before we get into these juicy readings i do want to say that i am so thankful for your presence and time and energy today bless thank you so much i wanted to say i love you to my ogs and everyone of course bless thank you guys so much for being around and being here with me especially during this week it was pretty rough for me so all the love and support that i got from you guys was really appreciated and i just felt so blessed and it really helped me um to like push forward because i was really not feeling good okay so i am really thankful thank you guys um also just to let you guys know that i have a 30 percent off on my spiritual shop my etsy shop jalissa's manifestations so if anybody needs any goodies miss bombs baths crystals candles 
books, pens, divination tools, oracle decks, tarot decks, anything, okay? <laughs> if you need any spiritual goodies, go ahead and check out my shop. I do have a lot of items available and everything is 30% off, so definitely take advantage. Get stocked up with them crystals or candles. I love me some candles and I burn a candle every day, okay? So yeah, I am the candle girl. <laughs> That's why I have a candle shop. All right, so guys, go ahead, check out my reviews, um, stock up or get get yourself a gift or a gift for someone else bless all right and that is all folks so let's get it let's go pal one pal two i will find you at your pile bless hello pal one how are you doing boo boo i hope you're good i hope you are blessed actually hello my beautiful souls how are you guys doing i hope you guys are good i hope you guys are blessed all right pal one let's get it let's go Let's get into this reading, all right? So should you stay or should you go? What's going on? Let's get all the details here today, all right? I'm spraying my hands with my protection mist, of course, before we get started. Blessed. Mm, lavender. <laughs> all right, so first I'm going to give you your angel number, and then we're going to get into this reading Bless spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels. Please come through and help me channel this message here today for Paul One. Thank you so much. Bless spirit. What is the angel number for Paul One today? All right, Paul One. Oh, interesting. Okay, we have two, five, four, six. Okay. 2546 is your angel number bless guys when you have a chance go to your server your internet and check out 2546 angel number meaning and bam there goes your first message from spirit if you can guys definitely share your messages as i love to read them and it's also beneficial for the fellow viewer okay all right so let's get it let's go let's put this to the side Part one, you guys chose this beautiful yellow crystal. How pretty is that? All right, so yellow symbolizes intellect, creativity, happiness, and also the power of persuasion, all right? It is also associated with cowardness, okay? Not saying that you're a coward or anything like that. In healing, you use yellow to promote clarity of thought and in the aura, yellow signifies intellectual development for either material or spiritual ends. All right. So I definitely feel like Pawan in this connection, not only do you have a spiritual connection to your person, but I do see that you're going to be able to persuade something here with your person. OK, I do see a lot of clarity coming your way as well when it comes to this connection. OK, so let's get it. Let's go. Let's see what's going to come through bless okay so we're gonna start with my music deck we're gonna get the vibe and the energy out here between you and your person as we speak right now bless spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guys angels please come through and help me channel this beautiful message here today for pow one bless all right spirit talk to me what's the vibe what's the energy between pow one and their person What's the vibe? What's the energy? All right. We have here fabulous. So, well, it's not so into you. I think it is so into you, but here we have into you. Okay. Fabulous into you. I can't really explain it. I'm so into you now. I want to be more than a friend of you now. When you ask, when they ask, I mention my baby girl in the interviews now. And I don't bring up the problems from the 90s into to Dao. There's no reason to have a friend or two now because the kid's ready to tell you how he feels in a few vows. Maybe I'm speaking general now, but girl, I'm going to do whatever just to keep a grin on you now. Mm, I love that. <laughs> Bless. Okay, and then we have the weekend Rolling Stone. Now you're thinking about it, girl, you're thinking about it what we got here how we fucking got here they recognize they just recognize i'm in a life without a home so this recognition's not enough i don't care about anybody else 
Cause I've been on these streets way too long, too long, too long. Baby, I've been on this too long. All right, so I'm definitely getting that your person prior to meeting you, prior to you guys connecting, was definitely out in these streets having fun, okay? So either, you know, joining lots of social gatherings or having, you know, a, a special friend group that they're part of or something like that. I'm definitely getting that they were out and about living that single life, um, enjoying themselves, but there was something missing, okay? And when they met you, they found something that they didn't have in a long time, and that's the feeling of home. Home is not a physical place like a house. That's not considered a home, even though people do call a house a home, right? Because it's what's inside that makes it your home. The vibe, the family, the aura, the energy around that physical space that makes it that home for you. And that's what I'm getting. Like your person for a while did not have a home, meaning they didn't have a place to call theirs. They didn't have a person that they could rely on, a person that made them feel special a person that gave them meaning to life okay so you came into their life and now your person is definitely into you and wanting more from the connection is what I'm getting but I do feel like there is some difficulties transitioning from that life before you to the life with you all right so your person is having like kind of like um it's like when you're trying something new, they're, they're having hiccups, they're having difficulties adjusting, but they do want it is what I'm getting. OK, so let's go into this, babe. Let's see what's going on here. Should you stay? Should you go? Right. Let's get it. Let's go. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me channel this beautiful message here today for the collective. Pa one bless spirit. Should Pa One stay with their partner? Should Pa One stay in this connection? Or should they go? If so, please explain why, Spirit. Thank you so much. Bless. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Pa One. Thank you so much. Bless. All right, Spirit, should they stay or should they go when it comes to their person? All right, we have the hermit in reverse. That is Virgo energy. We have the five of pentacles in reverse. Oh, hi. We have the three of pentacles in reverse. Just so you know, not all the cards are in reverse, okay? Just so you know. Like, um, Jalissa, what's going on here? <laughs> but that's okay. That's not a bad indication, okay? We got the page of wands. One more spirit. We have strength in reverse. Back of the deck, we have the king of wands, which is fire energy. We have a lot of fire on the table. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get some oracle cards out here. All right, spirit, what else does Paul one need to know? Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels. Should Paul one stay or should they go? What's going on here? We have come to the edge, number 36. We have number nine, Treasure Island. We have number 30, TikTok. TikTok, TikTok. And we have number 27, Exchanging Gifts. Okay, we're going to get one more out here and then we are off. All right, Spirit, what else does Palm One need to know? We have Homeland, talking about home, right? Homeland, arrival, a journey, and establishment, building, settled. And we have Sancrecy, Sancratory, sanc sanc okay, however you pronounce that, <laughs> bless. Okay, so... Let's get it. Let's go. Let's talk about this. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Paul One. Thank you so much. Bless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just tapping into the energies, guys. One second. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Okay. I am seeing your person. And I'm seeing your person in a very dark energy, okay? Not saying that they're dark or they have some weird stuff going on. No, 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 no. I just see them kind of in the dark, you know, when you're not able to see or feel through things. Like, you're trying to see through the darkness even though there's no light. That's what I'm getting with your person. Like, they're feeling their way through the situation here with you, but they can't really see clearly. There's a lot about the past that your person is bringing up here. A lot about the past. The past is very important here in this connection. Your person has made some sort of mistakes in the past when it comes to love, when it comes to the relationship overall. In general, I'm just seeing your person isolated and repeating events from the past. So some of you guys may either be in separation or you may be in like um kind of like a cold energy right now where communication isn't really high there's lack of communication your person is being a little funny possibly being a bit distant there there's this energy here where your person is kind of asking for privacy asking for space and it's because they're trying to process something okay from the past they haven't gotten over a situation from the past, which is really affecting them emotionally, spiritually, physically. I see them stuck. I see them feeling very lonely. OK, so they're not happy having a party or anything like that. No, I just see them really stuck, like wandering um, and wondering about you. All right. I see them either trying to ask people about you or going online trying to find out about you all right so they're trying to like lurk in a sense and find clues and information about you without asking and that's because they're a little standoffish right now they're feeling very low very down and out I do see the connection and I see that there is a lot of chemistry here. I see that there is a lot of emotion here. I do see that you guys lack balance and I see that your person wants to change that. All right. They're in their intentions with you is to change is to come inside is what I'm getting. All right. I'm seeing new hope. I'm seeing hope returning. I'm seeing your person wanting recovery with you, wanting to take that leap of faith in this connection because they see you as a wish fulfillment. They see you as something that is beautiful, something that they could that could bring them so much happiness. Like I said, you're home. You brought them this vibe, this energy. And this energy is so unique and beautiful and they haven't felt this in a while for anyone and they're not trying to let it go is what I'm getting. But tick tock, time is of the essence. I feel like your person has been taking their time to kind of get out of this funky energy where they're processing the past. All right. So what I'm seeing is that your person is going through a transition, babe, and transitions are not easy. Okay. I see that there has been a lot going into play. For instance, your person right now, they're giving me the energy of mm -hmm, mm -hmm, fear. Yeah, they have a lot of fear. They feel like they self-sabotage or they're going to self-sabotage this connection. They're showing me that they haven't really supported you or supported enough this connection and that they want to speak to you about this. Mm-hmm. They want to speak to you about this. They they feel like they need to get some things off of their chest. I'm also seeing that they are eliminating certain people from their circle from around them. OK, because apparently these either this individual or these people are no bueno. They're no good. They're interfering in the connection some way, somehow. I'm seeing a house as well. So I do see that they do want to be home with you. Again, they do see you as their home, their their favorite place, their happy place. You are their happy place for sure. And they do see you as someone that's very abundant, someone that brings so much to the table, someone that could literally like lighten up the whole room with just a smile. OK, this is the vibe I'm getting here there. I'm getting the number 44. OK, and there is some sort of ending happening very soon. So whatever path you're on, I see that there's going to be like a detour. Either you're taking a new path or you're going towards a new direction is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It's because you want to build. And I see like it's kind of like this has been taking a while or it's been taking some time. And you may have felt like you settled or you've you've been settling by waiting and, you know, giving your person time to figure things out. And I just see that like you're going to put an end to that. You're not really going to wait around or um, be patient anymore, even though patience is a good thing you know we should always have patience with what we want right the reward is always better when you're patient but what i see is that you're having a change of heart like i see you in your energy and it's like you're feeling as if this journey isn't really going the way you expected isn't really going the route you would like it to therefore i see you open to new energies open to new excitement open to new relationships um, I do see you still wanting to obviously have the relationship. There's a lot of feelings here. I'm definitely getting that. But also, I'm getting a lot of vulnerability, okay? So, this situation at one point obviously brought a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. But right now, things are more complicated than anything, okay? And that's because your person is in this regret energy is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. They're very regretful. They feel like they sabotage the connection. One second. <clears throat> mm. Mm. I had to drink some tea. Your girl's still healing, okay? Um, but I do see also that you're going to want your personal space, all right? I do see you wanting your personal space, and I do see you creating boundaries out of respect, all right, so I don't know if your person crossed the line. Let's get some clarities here. Mm -hmm. Let's clarify a few things here. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through. Help me channel the messages here on the table for part one. Thank you so much. Bless. Spirit. Why is the hermit in reverse? Mm. Yeah, there's been manipulation here. Mm -hmm. Your person feels really bad because of their behavior. They haven't been honest with you, babe, in one way or another, all right? They want to speak to you about this. I see resistance, all right? I see your person very resistant to open up, but they do want to speak to you about this situation because, like I said, your wish fulfillment. They're not trying to lose you. They're overwhelmed, and this is why your person is isolating themselves. They want some sort of privacy. They want to definitely have some personal space as we speak right now because they're processing all of the negativity, all right? They're processing all of the manipulation, gaslighting, everything that has been going on between you and them. And they're not really feeling themselves, all right? They feel like they may have crossed the line, okay? Spirit, can you clarify this five of pentacles here in reverse? Your person is extremely confused, all right? They're coming off grounded, but they're not. They're actually very confused about this connection. Um, They want you to wait, all right? They're waiting, they're being very patient and they would like for you to be patient and wait as well. They do feel like this connection is spiritual. It's a divine union. They feel like you're their soulmate or twin flame. They don't really understand this. OK, they never felt this before. Remember, you're their home. They never had a home before. So this is a new vibe, a new energy for them. And they feel bad because I'm seeing your person feeling bad because they they didn't do right by you in one way or another. And this is really killing them inside because they didn't know how deep their emotions really went for you. OK, they didn't know how much they actually felt for you. So I just see them confused, wanting to talk to you, but not knowing what to say. And just being patient, waiting, waiting for something to happen here. They're waiting for this recovery. They're waiting to come back inside the home with you. Clarify this three of pentacles in reverse. Mm -hmm. They haven't really supported you. 
and they've brought in some sort of drama into your world is what I'm getting. And they do regret this. They do regret bringing in this drama. I'm seeing a lot of hands in the cookie jar. So this could be like friends with their opinions or family members with their opinions or exes, those sorts of things. You know, just people stirring the pot and just not trying to see you or them happy. All right, I see that your person is removing whoever these individuals are. It's taking them some time because they have been blinded to the situation. They didn't know that these people or person had bad intentions or, um, you know, negative energies. They weren't seeing it at first, but now they're seeing things for what they are. So they're releasing someone, some people, and they're wanting to get to calmer waters. That's really their urgency right now. Like I need to like really fix things is what I'm getting. Again, I see your person waiting. There's this big waiting game. All right. Waiting, 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 waiting. Um, I do see competition and I also see rivalry. So there may be a lot of jealousy here in this connection. A lot of people jealous of you and your person being together. Your person wasn't seeing this as jealousy. Um, they were just probably laughing it off because I see that they didn't see it as something very important or something that needed to be focused on. All right. But eventually it got out of hand. Words may have been exchanged or people may have violated the connection or, you know, said or did things that hurt your feelings or their feelings. So I just see your person tr getting away from these people or person. All right. I see your person realizing that this isn't really what they want and this is not the energy they want to be in. So it's like your person is running for the hills. Mm hmm. Clarify this page of wands for me. I do see that your person has a lot of emotions for you. All right. They have a lot of passion for you. They have feelings for you. Um, they do feel like you guys are a match. All right. And they're showing me someone else as well. So I don't know if this is your ex or your father or mother or someone significant around you. Um, there's someone that is, I don't know. They're showing me this person as someone that's strict or someone that's cold. All right. But they're talking to me about this person and, um, they want to talk to you about this person. They want to say a few things to you about this person. Um, they want to also go down a new path with you. I'm seeing they want something new with you. They want to take a new path with you. They don't want to be in this path that you guys are currently on because apparently it's extremely overwhelming for them. And they're like really regretful. I feel like your person made a mistake or made a poor judgment when it came to a friend or an ex or a family member or something and it backfired. Um, I do see that because I just see your person holding their head and like really upset, like really upset with themselves that they didn't see it coming or they didn't see this energy coming in. Um, I'm getting betrayal. Okay. So yeah, your person wants to speak to you about this new path that they want to take with you. They do see you as their divine partner. They feel like you guys are a perfect match. You guys match perfectly like energy, like you guys will be like a super couple or a power couple, you know how people put it. Um, so your person does see this connection in a bright light. And they want to continue. They don't want it to end or, you know, stay where it's at. But there's something coming to an end, all right? Whatever has been happening here between you and them, people, situations, um, habits, boundaries, there's a lot of things that are about to change, all right, and take a shift. Talk to me about the strength in reverse. There is big change coming, all right? I see the tables turning in your favor. I see this being a commitment. I see a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, all right? I also see your person wanting to take the relationship to the next level, okay? So like I said, however you guys have been coexisting and vibing as of right now, there's going to be a big change in your relationship. Things are about to end, all right? So whatever has been interrupting the relationship or whatever has been interfering in between you and them, that is going to shift, that is going to go left, and that is going to change because your person does want you. Your person doesn't want to lose you. Your person wants to actually recover what's here. They feel like they sabotaged it, so they have to build it back up. They have to fix it. Right now, your person is asking for personal space because they're processing emotionally, and they're also transitioning, like I said earlier. Transitions take time, and they're not um, easy, okay? changing, releasing certain habits, behaviors, not easy. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that there is going to be big change in your relationship. And I see that whatever has been going on, something is coming to an end so that something else begins. All right. Certain 
chapters, you know, end a certain way and then the next chapter begins in a different way. You know that vibes change, all right? So basically that's what I'm seeing here. And I do see that your person is going to want to basically go to the edge with you take that leap of faith in this relationship and there's good luck in this relationship is what i'm seeing i'm seeing that luck will be on your side i do see the tables turning and i see your person wanting something more traditional so this is girlfriend boyfriend vibes wife husband vibes you know the house the car the kids the barbecues the pools the, you know all that good stuff like traditional relationship respectful relationship vibes that's what i'm getting all right um so a lot of things had to happen in order for your person to open up their eyes because like I said they were blinded for some time and I do feel like a lot of people got in the way or got in their head about this connection about what has been going on in their life all right so as far as should you stay or should you go you have a green light baby you should definitely stay okay that is the advice but obviously this is just advice and guidance what you decide is up to you free will bless but there is a lot of good coming your way in regards to this connection i just see that there's been a lot of lumps and bumps in the road of course all right so real quick um i'm gonna pull a message or two from your person and then we're gonna get into the charms all right baby bless spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guys angels please come through and help me channel this message here today for part one thank you so much bless all right spirit can you please clarify can you please give us the messages that part one's person would like to give to part one you were just someone on my checklist. So once upon a time, your person didn't really see this situation or this opportunity with you as something serious. All right. They saw this as, oh, that she or he looks good. And I want to try that. I want to have a good time. Um, yes, I want them. Check. I got them. All right. But that's a past energy. You know, that's when they first met you. You know, they, they didn't really have intentions on creating a relationship. I hide my jealousy. All right, so they do get jealous at times. I know I'll never meet another person like you. All right, so they're well aware that you're unique, you're special, you're one of a kind, and they're never going to meet no one like you. So they're not going to jeopardize is what I'm seeing. I reread our messages all the time. All right, like I said, I feel like there is lack of communication or, you know, miscommunication. So they are rereading these messages that you guys have sent to each other all the time. I don't want to hurt your feelings, okay? So that is why they want this time and space because they don't want to say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing because genuinely they don't want to hurt your feelings, all right? You are special to them. All right. So before we get into these charms, I am going to pull a preview of the extended bless. So let's see what we're talking about in the extended. What else spirit wants you to know? Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels. What are we talking about in the extended? What else does Paul one need to hear? What else does Paul one need to know? All right, we have the hermit, but this time it's upright, which is great. Yes, I see progress, baby. Okay. The Emperor, Aries energy, Virgo energy as well on the table. We have the Fool. How do you want it to land, Spirit? Figured. Mm hmm. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, let's get a little more out here. How do you want this to land, Spirit? Oh, that's not really good. <laughs> All right, we got the lovers in reverse. Okay, that's Gemini energy. And we have the five of pentacles. All right, with the six of swords in reverse, back of the deck. But we're going to flip that over because I don't do reverse in the back of the deck, you know. that That's just my thing. All right, so what I'm seeing here is that there is transition happening, like I was saying during the reading, bless. And this is in this is indication clarity that it is coming through, which is beautiful. I see that your person is going to do some soul searching. OK, so what's going on right now? They're in this dark space that's pushing them to do this soul searching and they're going to do it. 
and I see them tapping into their light. I also see them opening up, which is beautiful. All right. And what I see coming out of this transition is a whole leader. Okay. Someone that's going to take leadership, someone that's going to be there, someone that's going to stand up, someone that's going to take charge, someone that's going to say, all right, this is what we're doing today. And this is what I want. And this is the plan. And let's get it. Let's go. All right. This is a different energy. So your person is coming out of this transition as a new defined person a new person a more enlightened person i see your person wanting to take a leap of faith here in the connection yeah so there's new beginnings on the horizon which is beautiful also spirit wants to talk to you about some sort of poor judgment separation breakup you guys may have had all right so that's going to be brought up as well and spirit wants to talk to you about how your person is currently feeling because they are feeling cold okay i do see you guys moving forward i do see that there's going to be a lot of new energies new vibes new places that you guys are going to explore together so we're going to get into that there's going to be a lot more details obviously and tea in the extended we're also going to do messages from your person and advice and guidance from the universe so if you guys want to join me you are more than welcome to that link will be listed down below bless all right so for now let's get into these charms okay all right so here's my pendulum if you guys have a question you may want to ask after the charms okay i'm gonna leave that there for a second let's move these cards over so i can bring my charms okay all right, so this gets really loud. If you're sensitive to noise, you may want to lower the volume now. Ready, set, go. Wow, we got a lot of baby tarot. <laughs> we got like a whole little reading here. <laughs> Bless. All right, let's get some letters. Okay, so we're going to do that in a second real quick. I'm going to do story time with my story dice. All right. Okay. All right, spirit, what else does Palm want me to hear? Whoa, that one landed on my lap. All right, so I do see patterns being broken. All right, so whatever bad patterns or bad behavior your person may have been, um, you know, acting in or or you've been experiencing with your person, I see that breaking, okay? I see your person breaking bad habits. I see you guys coming together either for a date or a conversation. I do see at times that you give really deep into your emotions and that is okay. I see that your person is about to have a wake-up call. I also see someone getting sick, so be very, very careful, like, with either coming in and out of the cold very quickly or sharing drinks, you know, because I do see somebody getting like either a cold or a cough. You want to avoid that. Trust me. OK, <laughs> I do see good times. I see party vibes. OK, you are very talented. You have a God given gift. OK, so spirit is saying to invest in your gift. Invest in yourself as you're going to be able to produce, make money off of your talent. Bless. I also see a home again. So there's going to be talks about a home, either your person coming to your home or you going to their home or living together, a home in general. I do see your person being very emotional and dramatic about their feelings and everything that has been going on. All right. So prepare yourself for that. <laughs> Bless. And this is story time with Jalissa. All right, so let's get into this zoom zoom. Let me just um organize the charms real quick and then we're gonna get into the charms. Bless, thank you so much. Hello there, how are you guys doing? I hope everyone's good. I hope everyone is blessed. Okay, so if anyone here just so happens to be new, how you doing? I hope you guys are enjoying your time here thus far. Bless. If you like it here and you want to stay free, babe. It's free. Stay. All right. All you have to do is subscribe and hit that bell button. OK, there's many perks to being part of my channel. Not only do you get um, readings throughout the week because I love spilling the tea, but also you get to be um, part of a beautiful family where everybody is so supportive, so loving, so caring and um i'm baby oprah so every week i'm choosing one random subscriber and i am blessing them 
with some sort of goodie okay so this week i'm giving away a hundred dollar gift card the reason i'm doing this is because of the inflation all right inflation and gas prices food everything that's going on right now all right the struggle is real for a lot of people so i just want to help so if i could help by giving a gift card away bless that's what i'm gonna do so that's this week's giveaway a hundred dollar gift card all you have to do to be part of the family like i said is subscribe hit that bell button and comments all right commenting is a must that's where i choose my winners through the comments okay and i announce my winners either at the end of the week or the beginning of the week on my community board so always look out to see if your name was announced bless good luck hi my ogs how you guys doing i missed you guys all right so let's go let's get it let's go um, I do see so much happiness. Wow. And I see a lot of rivalry, a lot of like competition, hater raiders. You know what they say, though, if they hate and it's because you're doing something right. OK, I see like, wow, there's multiple people here. All right. So I see that there is going to be rivalry between your person and someone else that is either close to you or is admiring you. Oof. All right, so get ready, okay? <laughs> I don't see this as you vibrating or competing with another person for your person. I see someone competing for you with your person. All right, so there's going to be a lot of jealousy and vibrary and probably even chaos and drama. Prepare yourself, okay? I do see I do see you looking at it, so you are definitely either aware or you're going to be aware of this situation. I see a long road ahead of you. Mm hmm. And disconnection. There's a lot to come. And I do see that things are going to change. Good luck is on your side. All right. I see offers coming in within the next couple of weeks. There is a love offer coming towards you from your person. But then I also see this other person jealous trying to intervene and bring in their offer. All right. So listen, there's going to be like drama.com. All right. Because someone is going to want a piece of you and your person is not going to be happy about it at all. All right, so I just see that little rivalry there. But I see a lot of wishes coming true. I see you very, very happy. I see you being very content and taking your time making your decisions. Bless. All right, so let's go into initials. First, middle, last could be yours or theirs. We have S, T, C, M, Q, D, F, Q, J, T, I, J, C Y O R B H S F O J M V F Y O P Bless. All right, now as far as the charms go, does someone really like Sprite? I know some people really are serious about the sprite versus seven up thing you know <laughs> not me but i know some people are i'm getting sprite here um someone may be a beer drinker or you know like to drink um a couple of beers i don't know i'm hearing corona i don't know but i'm getting beer for sure um also spirit is saying that you are going to be very abundant all right there is a lot of fortune coming your way a lot of prosperity coming your way that's good news bless spirit is also saying babe drink more water okay <laughs> drink more water and be careful with your sugar intake all right your sweets Make sure that you're drinking enough water to keep your body balanced. I do see that someone may like to smoke some weed, bless, or, you know, like to use some sort of substance that may get you a little loopy, okay? Um, your, spirit, your, your person went out fishing, right? They, look, they were looking for something. They were trying to catch a catch, right? A fish. But instead, they caught a mermaid, which is you. You have connections to the ocean, babe. Yamaye energies, okay? Your person does recognize your uniqueness, your divine energies, and they do feel that you're very special. And they also feel very lucky to have caught you, okay? This is a big catch for them, just so you know. I see your connection. I see that you're very transparent. Your person, on the other hand, has a difficult time expressing certain things to you. I'm getting a lot of beer. All right, so someone really likes beer. <laughs> um, Spirit is saying to listen to your heart, okay? Don't get too caught up in your head. At times, the mind does play tricks, okay? Right now, you must be brave during this time. 
You must stand up and be brave and listen to your intuition. Let your intuition guide you. It's okay to get advice and guidance from many people like myself, et cetera, et cetera, friends, family, but always make sure that you're making decisions with your own compass, your own intuition, okay? blessed um i do see new doors opening right now spirit is saying this is not the time to make decisions this is the time to relax rest and heal as you have been through a lot all right again i am seeing money coming your way spirit is saying to take notes all right of everything that's going on actions behavior weird red flags yellow flags all right spirit is saying take notes and record everything all right so you have receipts I do see celebrations coming your way, bless. And as far as signs go, we have Virgo, we have Aquarius, we have Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, we have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we have Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, bless. Okay, okay, so that could be your sign, their sign, or within your charts. All right, so let's get into this pendulum, guys. Think of your question, babe. Spirit, what is the answer for Pa One? Thank you so much. All right, guys, that is all, folks. Bless, but that's not where it finishes, okay? Because I am going off to the extended. So if you want to join me, babe, to talk a little more about your connection and what's to come, because there's transitions. I see your person, like, literally going from night to day, and I see new beginnings. So if you want to know more about what's to come and also what's going on in your person's world, get more messages from your person and advice and guidance from the universe, join me for the juicy extended reading. <laughs> that link is going to be down below. I am going to play fabulous into you as I shuffle and lay the cards out. All right, so I'm excited for that. We haven't got fab in the extended yet in a while. I think in a very long time. So bless, I'm excited for that. <laughs> um, We got try again. Okay, so we're going to try again. Either switch your question or ask again, okay? Spirit, what is the answer for Paul one? Thank you. Yeah, so we're going to get into that. There's a lot coming, and I do see energy shifting. I do see the water is becoming more, tr more calmer. Right now, the waters are a little turbulent and murky, okay? So you can't really see through that water. You can't really swim comfortably through that water because there's pressure. There's a current that you can't really go against, okay? So right now, it's all about going with the flow, and I do see that you're going to get to that calmer water where you're not only going to be able to enjoy the connection more, but you're going to be able to see through the connection way more. There's not going to be much confusion is what I'm getting. There has been a lot of delays and I do get that there has been a lot of drama, arguments, regrets, bad choices, and we're going to get into that in the extended. Spirit has a few things to say to you. Mm-hmm. All right, so your answer is yes, bless. All right, guys, uh, I love you. I'm going to go up to the extended now, all right? So if you want, join me. Let's get it, let's go. If not, that's okay. I love you regardless. If this is where we're parting ways, Paul One, I just want to say I love you. Listen, you are amazing. And good luck with this rivalry because I see two people fighting for you. So that is going to be very interesting. I see... I see hands, all right? So hopefully things don't get out of hand, okay? <laughs> Bless. Um, but that's because you're all that in a bag of potato chips, babe, okay? Yes. Let's get it. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed this reading, please give it a thumbs up. If this reading resonated with you as well, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that so much. Thank you. It helps me and the channel. Bless. For my new viewers, hi. How you doing, boo-boo? Come join the family. Why not? It's free. You get lots of perks and benefits, baby. All right. I love spilling the tea throughout the week. That is my thing. You're going to have a beautiful family here with me. And also, I'm baby Oprah. All right. So you never know. There could be like a surprise here for you one day. Who knows? <laughs> Bless. All right. My OGs, you already know what time it is. I love you guys so much. I'm sending everyone love, light, and everything nice. Mwah. Deuces. Bless. Hey, Pal2. Welcome to your reading. Bless. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Bless. All right, so before we get started, real quick, let me just spray my hands with this protection mist. Bless. All right. 
Woo. Bless. All right, guys. So let's get it. Let's go. We're doing should you stay or should you go in this connection that you are currently in? All right. So first, I'm going to pull that angel number for you. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me channel this beautiful message here today for the collective. Bless. Spirit, what is the angel number for Pao Tzu? All right, Pao Tzu. We got two, two, three, three interesting all right pal two your angel number is 2233 go to your search engine put 2233 angel number meaning and bam there goes your message from spirit babe bless and if you guys can please share your messages as i love to read them and it is also beneficial for the fellow viewer all right, guys, you guys chose this red, beautiful, artificial crystal, but it's still beautiful. Bless. Let's admire it. <laughs> all right. So the color red is an intense color. All right. We're talking about energy, passion, strength, courage, physical activity, creativity, warmth and security. All right. So this is the energies that I'm pulling right here for your connection, for sure. Um, This is also associated with aggression all right the color red also associates with aggression so i do feel like um there may have been some lumps or bumps in the road here pal too between you and your person i see that there is healing ahead all right mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i see um clearing of some sort of I don't know why I'm getting disease, all right? So I'm getting clearing, healing of some sort of disease. This could be a shadow. This could be a behavior. This could be a sickness. Something is about to be healed here, Pao Tu. Bless. Pao Tu, before we get started, woo, I want to introduce you to my little friend here. I don't know if you heard. Choppy Choppy, all right? Pao One didn't get this introduction, but you will. Okay, so here is Choppy Choppy, and Choppy Choppy will be with us during the reading. He is a little shy, as he's still a little baby, so he wants to hide, all right? But he is here, just so you know. <laughs> Bless. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. I'm going to use my music deck first to get the vibe and energy between you and your person. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels. Please come through and help me channel this beautiful message here today for Pao Tu. And the fact that my birdie was, woo, if you heard him, my birdie was, you know, open to come for your reading is a big sign. All right. Birds are symbol of love and communication. And my bird is blue, which is also connecting back to emotion, water. OK, so I do feel like communication is going to open up between you and your person. I do feel like there are messages that are going to be coming towards you very soon as well. Pal to bless. All right. So let's get it. Let's go. Let's see. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels. Woo! There we go. It came out. It came out. OK, here we go. All right. So we got 50 cent, 21 questions. Do you trust me enough to tell me your dreams? I'm staring at you, trying to figure out how you got in them jeans. If I was down, would you say things to make me smile? I treat you how you want to be treated. Just teach me how. If I was with some other chick and you so happen to see, and when you asked me about it and I said it wasn't me, would you believe me or up and leave me? How deep is our bond if that's all it takes for you to be gone? We only human, girl. We make mistakes. To make it up, I do whatever it takes. I love you like a fat kid loves cake. You know my style. I'll say anything to make you smile. Oh, okay. A lot of messages within that song. All right. So your person has a lot of questions right now. A lot of concerns. All right. So they're curious about your stance in this connection. Like, what are you feeling? What are you open to? What are you, what are you with? What are you not with? Do you trust them? Do you not trust them? All right. I'm also getting a lot of chemistry, a lot of fire. And then we have Calvin Harris. How deep is your love? I love this song. I want you to breathe me in. Choppy Choppy, you good? He just landed on my lap. All right. He's good. I want you to breathe me in. Let me be your air. Let me roam your body freely. Okay. <laughs> No inhibitions, no fear. How deep is your love? Is it like the ocean? What devotion are you? 
How deep is your love? Is it like Nevada? Hit me harder again. How deep is your love? How deep is your love? And it's so interesting because I did name my bird at first ocean. And we're talking about how deep is your love? Is it as deep as the ocean? We don't know how deep the ocean really goes. So like I said, there is a lot of questions in this connection. Um, One second, guys, because I don't want pinkies going crazy over my bird. And I don't want pinky to like eat the bird. <laughs> you know, because she is like small for pinky, you know. And I do see pinky like, pinky go over there. Get out of here. I do see Pinky, like, um, you know, wanting a piece of that. <laughs> All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Pal 2. Bless. There's a lot going on in this reading, a lot of energies, a lot of vibes. Ooh. All right, I'm excited, though. Let's go. All right, Spirit, talk to me. When it comes to Paul Tu and their person, should they stay or should they go? And tell me why, Spirit. Thank you so much. Bless. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Paul Tu. Should they stay or should they go in this connection? And why? We have the Five of Pentacles coming out first. Okay. We have everything is fine in reverse. We have the moon, all right? That is Pisces energy. Okay, so there's a lot of mystery right now. I see why there's so many questions and confusion for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm getting interruptions as well, like outside interruptions. We have the two of pentacles here. Okay. One more. We have the six of wands in reverse. Back of the deck, we have justice, Libra energy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get a little more out here with the Oracle deck. All right, Spirit, talk to me. Should they stay? Should they go? And why? We have Observer. Oof, okay. Number 49. <laughs> choppy choppy was like let me come in and sweep in and confirm that observer card hello oh my gosh all right guys give me a quick second i gotta like exit pinky out the building because she is just going crazy so let me just exit her out you're not even gonna feel it watch all right we're back <laughs> you didn't feel it right bless pinky almost got choppy oh my gosh <laughs> i had to stop it i was like oh no all right, so let's go. Let's see what else. All right, so Spirit, talk to me. What else does Patu need to hear? What else Patu need to know? We have Imagine, number 20. And then we also have Treasure Island, number 9. All right, so definitely you're being watched, just so you know, Patu. All right, your person is watching, trying to see what's going on with you. This could be through your friends or social media, okay? Spirit, talk to me. What does Patu need to hear? What does Patu need to know? Should they stay or should they go? All right, we have Yama Ye coming out. Hello. Mm -hmm. So you're definitely connected to Yama Ye, goddess of the ocean. All right, these are water vibes. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or have this in your chart. Okay, but there's a lot going on here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of clutter. There's a choice that you have to make, babe, in this connection is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So Yamaye is protecting you, just so you know. If you don't know much about Yamaye, go ahead and um, search her up. All right. She's the mother of the ocean. And she is protecting you and guiding you during this time, especially with your connection. You do have ties to Yamaye, though, just so you know. Um, you're being asked to manifest, okay? I see a lot coming your way. I do. But when it comes to this connection, there's some truths that need to be released and truths that need to be spoken, okay? Your person right now, I'm getting that they may have you feeling out in the cold. I don't get a lot of warmth. 
I don't get a, a lot of emotion coming from your person and this connection right now. I get a lot of cold energies, all right? So either you are you guys are in a cold vibe where you're not talking as much or you're not connected as much or, you know, there's this standoffish type of energy. I do see that your person is trying to act fine, even though you guys may have had an argument or some sort of disagreement, but it's not really fine is what I'm getting. There's a lot of mystery and questions when it comes to you, your person, this connection. I do see that there has been some sort of karmic in the way, okay? So karmics usually come into your life, well, they do come into your life as a lesson, okay? So this could be your karmic or their karmic, but I do see a karmic and I do see mask. So things aren't really being shown as they truly are, all right? I do get a poker face. I do get um, lies, deception, secrets, hidden agendas. I am getting that. I do get that your person may be juggling multiple things right now at a time. And I also see like your person kind of taking a retreat from the situation, the connection, because of failure, all right. They feel like giving up. They feel like they failed you or failed the connection and they don't have much confidence. I do see that justice is going to be served here, meaning that truth is going to come out. OK, I see that the truth is going to help you feel more balanced and also feel more at ease. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a win win situation here, just so you know. Regardless of which path you go, yes or no, there is a win-win situation here for you. But the, sh the truth is definitely going to come out is what I'm getting. Because there is a lot of secrets here. A lot of secrets. Let's see what else I can pull here. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of healing that you need to do and a lot of decluttering, okay? Because there's a lot of clutter, a lot of shadows, a lot of um, disruption in your energy. So there is a lot of healing that needs to happen, babe, within you. Because of this situation, everything that you have gone through, that's what Yamaye is saying. Yamaye is coming here to let you know that you are Yamaye's child, all right? And Yamaye is protecting you. Yamaye is here for you, all right? You're not alone, okay? You are being protected. You are being shielded. But there is something that you have to do for self, and that is heal, all right. There's a lot of mess. There's a lot of clutter. You need to clean things up in order to see more clearly, in order to feel more better about self, the situation. You know, when you have a messy room, you may feel like, I don't know, at least I do. I feel like my whole vibe is off. All right. I'm going to have a crappy day because I woke up in a messy room. OK, that's how I feel. That's why I try to keep things neat or organized. Sometimes, you know, I, I slack and get lazy. That's normal. But you need to keep up the cleanness and the clarity in not only your room, but situations, you know what I'm saying? If not, things get real messy and out of place. And then energies are just like all over the place. All right. And that's what I'm getting here. All right. So spirit, talk to me, clarify this five of pentacles for me, please. All right. We have the king of pentacles, earth energies, the three of cups and the page of pentacles, along with the ace of cups. All right, so I definitely feel like there is a third party involvement. This could be friends, family, exes, lovers, you know, entertainers, side pieces. I do get an outside entity, someone else aside from the from you and the relationship that is kind of coming in between. OK, let me drink some water, guys. Mm, got to stay hydrated. Mm hmm. Especially I was just sick not too long ago. Mm hmm. Anyway. Anywho, I see that there is a lot of love here for sure. But there is interference. And I see that you feel like you're out in the cold. Your person feels like they're out in the cold right now. There's just this cold energy. Um, There's worry. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> there's worry. I'm so sorry, guys. There's concern is definitely what I'm getting. And I also see money matters. All right. So this could be even in regards to like work or a child, child support, those sorts of things. All right. But there's definitely things being hidden. So let's talk about this. Everything is fine in reverse. Spirit, talk to me about this. We have the king of wands. We have choppy choppy chirping. We have the judgment energy. Okay. That is fire, Pluto, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
And we have the Six of Cups along with the Knight of Pentacles. I do feel like you guys have been in this situation for a very long time. I do see the judgment energy here. Again, like I said, I did feel karma. So there is some sort of karma being paid. I see that um, your person is going to definitely be coming towards you. I feel like they're coming back into your world. Okay, they're very nostalgic. They're definitely thinking about you. They're going to want a renewal with you. But what I see is like they keep looking back saying everything is cool, but then they keep looking back. And this is why this judgment call is coming in where it's kind of like a wake up call. All right. So they're going to be experiencing a wake up call very soon. And this wake up call is going to guide them towards you. All right. Because they are thinking about you. They're wondering about you and they're concerned about this connection. Okay. Spirit, talk to me about the moon. Wow. The mystery. Whatever is going on is going on in the shadows. So I don't see that you know exactly what's going on with this third party situation. Look at that. We got the moon and the moon. All right. Um, we got the chariot, the moon and the eight of cups. All right. Like what you don't see is that you're going to be moving forward and possibly away from your person. OK, I do get that because there's too much being hidden from you. OK, and the energies are so light. All right. They're not heavy. I'm not getting that deep, deep, deep energy where your person is like, in a transition or wanting to like open up okay so what i'm seeing is that like your person wants to keep these secrets these um hidden motives or intentions hidden and i see you kind of getting tired mm -hmm. i see you getting tired and wanting to like just push forward like you know what i am i'm over this you know I see that the renewal is is not going to be enough. Whatever your whatever energy, whatever intention your person is bringing into this renewal is not going to be enough to keep you tied down or keep you in this connection because you're walking away. I don't see that you see this. You may not even think this as of right now, like me walking away. Yeah, OK, um, maybe not. Or maybe you do feel that way. But what I'm getting is that you are going to decide to walk away because you want something it's like you want a new experience. You want something successful. And this is like, um, it's kind of like sailing into the unknown, walking into the unknown. Um, and it, it makes you feel uneasy. It makes you feel like um, you're not comfortable. You're not sure. You're not confident. All right. So I see you like turning around and going down a new path. All right. Spirit, talk to me about the two of pentacles. We have the star, the hermit, strength, and the knight of pentacles, along with the king of swords. There's a lot of people here, okay? Wow. There's a lot of people here. Mm-hmm. Okay. I do see wish fulfillments coming in for you as you isolate yourself. All right, so I see you taking time to isolate yourself. I see you taking time to heal. Like I said, there is clutter, so you need to declutter. So I see you doing that. I see you taking time to go into your personal bubble, heal, process what has been going on between you and your person. And I see that there's a lot of wishes coming true because of this. All right, not only are you going to get balance in your life, balance with self, Yes, you agree with that? Thank you, Choppy. But also, you're going to gain a lot of strength, and I see you moving forward, moving forward in a positive direction. I see you finding this beautiful light within you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't know why I was getting disease, all right, earlier when I was touching your crystal, but I was getting disease, and I was getting healing disease, all right? And I'm not saying, like, it's a disease, like a virus or anything like that, but uh, diseases are usually illness, right? Something that brings down your immune system, something that attacks your immune system, you know? And I see that what you're doing and what you're going to be doing is kind of cleaning up the mess and finding yourself. I see you soul searching, and I see a lot of dreams coming true for you because of this. It's kind of like this venture this soul searching path is going to open up a lot of doors for you i see a lot of balance coming in i see you very very happy all right spirit talk to me about the six of wands in reverse we got the lovers gemini energy we also got virgo on the table by the way and cancer and aquarius all right so we got the lovers we got the three of wands and we have the king of swords with the queen of wands okay so what i'm seeing here is that 
your person is going to retreat out of failure, all right? So they feel like they have failed you in some way, shape, or form. They're not confident. There's a lot of regret. There's a lot of low energies. They do feel the connection. They do feel like you are their divine partner, soulmate, twin flame. You know, they feel the soul connection between you and them. But for whatever reason, they are very deep in their thoughts. And they're wondering about like what they're going to do next instead of facing you i see them like giving you their back okay that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing them like giving you their back not really facing you or their situation i see that you are very very intuitive so you're definitely picking up on the vibe you're definitely picking up on what's going on here and i just see you looking towards the future all right i see your person just deep in thought clarify this justice for me please spirit We have the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles. There's just a lot of people in this reading here, okay? I don't know if there's issues with moms and dads or friends and sisters and brothers or something, but there is a lot of people involved in this connection, okay? All right, so what I'm seeing here is that justice will be served. I see that the universe is going to be blessing you with an unexpected inflow of abundance. This is a lot of money coming your way. I see a lot of success within your work area. I see that you're going to be a little scared to move forward and kind of get out of this situation it's like you feel stuck or trapped for some reason all right that is something that you're definitely gonna have to work on with self all right this is a mental illusion okay this is not real it's mental and it's like an illusion of being trapped it's not it's not like you're really trapped here you're not okay but that is your justice i see like a lot of positivity coming your way a lot of blessings a lot of money as far as the connection goes i just see a lot of backs all right and i see a lot of people in the mix okay i see you finding your ground all right so i do see you getting grounded and i do see you finding yourself and also healing all right so you're getting rid of the clutter and i see you getting some sort of medicine all right there's something Mm, that's very interesting. I've never seen that before. And I am a mermaid, okay? And I've never seen this before. But I see, like, you either creating some sort of medicine for healing, all right? Associated with the ocean, all right? Because we're, we're talking about sacred ocean medicine. This is something that's within you. Either you're creating this medicine or you're going to be given this medicine. But I see this medicine helping you. I'm getting something very natural, okay? Something from the ocean. So something associated with the ocean is either you getting it or someone giving it to you. But I do see this helping you heal internally. And that is great. I see you spiritually being lifted from this situation and justice being served and the truth coming out. All right. So this is a win-win situation where even though you guys are turning your backs on each other and it's not working in the way you would like it to possibly, you know, um, things turn out better for you because your wishes are coming true. I see a lot of the things that you are manifesting right now unfolding for you as you go into this soul search all right i see a lot of treasure i see blessings i see wishes dreams coming true for you all right so i do see that the universe your guides like yamaye are gonna occupy your mind and your energy with all this positive vibe and opportunities coming your way so you're not gonna be stuck in this energy like where oh man a breakup vibe you know because breakups are always tough they're always difficult. They're not easy, right? So I don't see that for you, though. I don't see you struggling, and I don't see you overwhelmed over the fact that um, the situation isn't panning out the way you want it to. All right, so I'm going to get a message or two from your person real quick just to see what they want to say to you. Bless. All right, so let's see. Spirit, talk to me. What would Patu's person like to say to Patu at this time? My mind is telling me no, but my heart is telling me yes. All right, so they're battling with their mind and heart. All right, their mind is their, is like in their ego energy, and then their heart is like more genuine is what I'm seeing because their heart is like, yes, 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 let's get it, let's go. But their mind is like, nah, forget that. She, he doesn't matter. All right. This is talking about a third party individual. Like I said, I did sense this third party individual, a karmic. They don't matter is what your person wants you to know. Okay. 
I have sex addictions, all right? This is that wandering eye, the need to have more than one partner, okay? They do have that addiction. They do have that shadow that they need to face. I can't picture my life without you, all right? So they don't really want you to go, all right? They're not going to want you to go. So expect the hot and cold energies, like coming and going vibes. My feelings are deeper than they seem, okay? Now we're going to get into the charmies and see what else we get in the charms, more messages. And before we do that, I just really quickly want to pull like the preview for the extended, okay? Because we are doing an extended, a blast. <laughs> All right, Spirit, so talk to me. What is the extended going to be all about? What else does Pao 2 need to hear? What else does Pao 2 need to see today? Bless. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through and help me channel this message. Woo! All right, so that, like, flew. I'm only going to take the ones that came up right, okay? So we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Wands. The Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. As you can see, there's a lot of Pentacles here, all right? We're talking about a lot of material and grounding energies, okay? Um, With the Ace of Swords in reverse, back of the deck, okay? So I do get that there is clarity coming in. I do see your disappointment, though. I see you feeling very disappointed with this love connection, I see that your person is going to be going through like a little depression, okay, in regards to what's going down between you and them. I see you feeling like your person let you down. I just see you very disappointed. I see that your person is not going to really go with this. They're going to want to come back inside, all right? So they're going to plead and they're going to basically try to recover this connection with you. Like I said, I don't see them like going away. This would be you walking away more so than them. All right, I see that at work, there's going to be collaboration. I see you doing very well at work. I see a lot of money coming in, which is great. I do see this situation here with your person, and I just see that there's lack of focus and ambition when it comes to the connection, and that's why things are not working out. All right, your person is not putting enough energy, all right, but we do have a commitment on the table, so I'm going to talk to you about this commitment and where or what's this commitment all about, all right? That's that's the mystery energy on the table is what I'm getting, all right, because I do see you committed. Um, so I'm going to pull with who, when, and why, how, where, how, and all that information in the extended. I'm also going to pull messages from your person, advice and guidance from the universe. All right. So if you guys want to join me, the extended link is going to be down below in the description. Okay. Bless. Now let's get into these charms. Okay. Mm -hmm. Choppy, choppy, what are you doing? Choppy, choppy, what are you doing? All right. Chami, you like really in the way right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ew. Chami pooped on me. <laughs> All right. Oof, this is so heavy. Okay, let's get it. Let's go. All right, so this gets really loud. So if you're sensitive to noise, this is when you want to lower the volume. Okay, guys? Ready, set, go. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, please come through. I'm going to share this message here today. Well, I'm so Thank you so much. Alright, so let's put this down here. Okay. Alright, so we're going to put this to the side a little bit. We're going to get some initials. Okay. And before we get into this, we're really quickly going to do story time on my story dice. Okay. All right, Spirit, talk to me. What else does Pao Tu need to hear today? Okay, one fell on the floor. What fell on the floor? Let's see. Mm. Okay, I got it. 
All right. I don't know if you guys saw me, but <laughs> your girl's not looking all that today. All right. <laughs> I'm just recovering, just so you know. All right. So let's get it. Let's go. Um, Let me get this here. So I do see that there is some rivalry energy here. All right. So I don't know who is wanting to like argue with you or fight with you or something like that, but I am getting some rivalry energies. Definitely avoid that if you can. I see your person reaching out. I do see them communicating with you. I see you on your path, okay? You're very independent, so I see you doing a lot on your own. Spirit is saying to connect with music because you have a connection to music, all right? So whenever you're feeling like down and out or, you know, mad or upset, definitely connect to music. It will help you to release those energies. And take your time is what spirit is saying. Don't make any decision overnight. Don't rush to make a decision. Take your time for sure. Um, I do see your person acting a little bit dramatic. Okay. I see them coming in acting very dramatic. I do see you overcoming some sort of challenge obstacle. It's going to be a little rough, but I see you overcoming it. And I see you like kind of like one foot in one foot out with the new door. All right. So new possibilities, new doors are on the horizon. All right. And this was story time with Jalissa. Bless. All right. So let's get into these charmies. Okay. So I'm going to zoom, zoom. Okay. So real quick. Whoa. R and M flew out of the tray. Okay. Real quick. I'm going to just organize the charms. So if you guys could give me a second, I appreciate that. Bless. All right. Hello there. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's good. I hope everyone is blessed. Okay. Guys, if you are new to my channel and you so happen to be here today, it's for a reason. All right. Um, and if you like my channel, my reading, you are more than welcome to stay. All you have to do is sub subscribe, hit that bell button and you are here. You are in it, babe. Not only do you get to be part of the family, but you also get readings throughout the week and I'm baby Oprah. So I am always blessing somebody with something every week. Okay. So how that works is you subscribe, you hit the bell button and you comment because I choose my winners through the comments. Okay. So on the community board, you will see at either at the end of the week or the beginning of the week that I announce a winner. I choose a winner randomly through the comments. This week, I am giving away a $100 gift card. All right. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to help. And I know that right now there's an inflation, gas prices, food prices, everything, you know. So if I could help in any way, shape or form, I am. So I'm giving away a $100 gift card this week. And you could possibly be a winner. All you have to do is subscribe and hit that bell button. Make sure to comment. You could comment anything you want. It could be an emoji. It could be a question mark. However it goes. As long as you're in the comments, that's all that matters. Okay? Bless. Good luck to everyone. My OGs, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I miss you guys so much. Your girl is like almost there, fully healing. All right? I'm in the process. Bless. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Um, so what I'm seeing here, mm -hmm, um, I'm definitely getting that your person is acting grounded, okay? But they're not. They know how to wear a poker face very, very well, okay? I do see a new beginning for you, and I see that you're going to take your time to make a decision, all right? It's like you're, you're debating, should I, should I not? Take your time is what Spirit is saying. I do see you doing that. And I see you listening to your intuition. I do see commitment. Okay. So like I said, um, for the extended, I do see a commitment in your future. I see you fully committed. I see your person coming back towards you. So like I said, regardless of what the energies are now, cold, hot, however it goes, they're coming back. Okay. They're not staying away from you. They don't want to picture their life without you. So if they go, that would have to be your decision. Okay. All right, so let's go into initials, first, middle, last. This could be yours or theirs. We have QR, JP, DM, KC, GR, QT, SK, IY, PD, CM, E-I-P. And it says pie. Aw. 
All right. So I do see a lot of um traveling, all right? So I don't know if you're you're expecting to travel in the near future, but I do see a lot of traveling for you. Mhm. Mm I also see you trying like either new foods or new eats, okay? Spirit is saying to drink lots of water. All right, drink lots of water and enjoy. I see that in time, your person is going to offer you something. All right, it's going to take time, but in time, they are going to offer you something good. All right, I do see you cleaning up. Okay, Spirit is saying to watch your sugar intake. Okay, make sure you're drinking enough water. And some of you guys may really love Starbucks. All right, I'm getting refreshing drinks. Okay. Right now, you're going in a lot of swirls here. You're learning a big lesson in this connection, all right? This is a cycle that you're in with your person. But there is something very beautiful at the end of this rainbow, okay? So, yeah, there is something beautiful that's going to transpire out of this connection. You are definitely on your throne, and you are definitely being crowned queen or king. You have that energy, and you're owning it. I see that you're going to choose to be strong, and I see you crossing this bridge, all right? So you're going from one area of your life to another. You have this really beautiful, pure energy, and your person knows it. You're gifted. You have divine gifts. You're able to see through people, feel through people. You're very highly sensitive, all right? And your person knows this. You're a huge catch. You're beautiful. You're amazing. Like, not only are you like eye candy, but also like internally as a person, your soul is just beautiful. Mm-hmm. Spirit is saying to believe in yourself more. As you believe in yourself more, more of your dreams will come true. You could do anything you want to do, but you must believe in yourself, all right? Your person is saying that they love you to the moon and back. I'm getting some cancer energies here, all right? I do feel like your person is a bit defensive at times and hides a lot of their feelings. Like the message, my feelings are deeper than it seems, okay? So they're like an iceberg. You only see the surface of the iceberg. You don't really get to see what's underneath the water, which is a big block of ice, all right? So a lot is being hidden from you with purpose, okay? This is your person um, kind of wanting to show little by little what they're feeling and what they want here in this connection with you, okay? So let's go into this question. Think of your question, babe. Spirit, what is the answer for pile two? Thank you so much. Bless. All right, pile two, so should you stay or should you go? Spirit, it is... Spirit is advising you to clean up the clutter and go. All right. Free will. Do as you please, of course. And even though you walk away from a situation, that doesn't mean that it's a permanent walk away. But at least for the moment, there is a need for you to focus on self, heal, clean the clutter and kind of find a new path that makes you happier. OK, bless. Now, we're going to do a lot in the extended. So if you want to join me, let's get it. Let's go. I'm going to be playing 50 cent 21 questions as I shuffle and lay the cards out. We're going to talk about the disappointments. We're going to talk about your person. We're going to talk about them wanting to come back inside. We're going to talk about you and your endeavors and this commitment that I'm seeing and also why certain things haven't really worked out. We're also going to get a lot of messages from your person and advice and guidance from the universe. Bless. All right, guys. So if you want to join me, the link is down below for the T. OK, and your answer on the pendulum is definitely. All right. So definitely it's not. Yes, it's not. No, it's definitely. All right, guys. Um, I love you so much. Now I'm going to be going off to the extended where I am going to be obviously spilling the tea okay if you want to join me let's get it let's go all right bless and part two if this is where we're parting ways i just want to say i love you listen babe there's a lot that you're going to find out about yourself that you may not know yet and that is okay all right the universe will give you things little by little so that you process all right i see a lot of support support around you so just know that you are protected you are supported you are not alone okay and you deserve nothing but the best if you feel like you need to take that time out and you want to take spirits advice and just you know take a little time out from your person bless go ahead and do it listen you know what they say if it's yours it will always come back you know let it go let it fly and if it comes back to you it was always yours baby bless 
All right, guys, I love you so much. Listen, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today. I appreciate that. Right, Chappy Chappy? Yes, he flapped his wings. <laughs> um, and if you're new, subscribe, hit that bell button. I'm so excited to have you here. All right, guys. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. My OGs, you already know what time it is. All right, and I love you. All right, be safe, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm sending you love, light, and everything nice. Mwah. Deuces, bless. <laughs>